I don't know. Just keep fouling, I guess, you know, trying to play physical, but uh, I guess uh, I shouldn't play as physical as I want to. You obviously accomplished a lot of things offensively that you wanted to as a team tonight, mm -hmm. but why is it the defense coming in there, especially in that second quarter, seems to, to break down so often? Well, they got in the paint. You know, they they, they set great screens tonight, and uh, they were making their shots. And uh, you know, we had a lot of we had to help a lot because of the way they were screening us. They they really uh, they really were setting really good screens and getting their guards downhill. And uh, you know, the, the, their backcourt play action well, made a lot of shots. And then you know, once John got in the paint, uh, Otto Porter got a couple of open threes. Drew Good and he got a couple of open threes, and you know, even John hit a few threes. So um, they did a good job of executing the screen tonight. Is that what makes uh, the foul situation so frustrating for you? Because there's been so much talk about defensive breakdowns for your club, and you're really trying to set the tone for them. Yeah, for me, it sucks because I can't help my teammates, and you know, me trying to be as more physical and play play on basketball, and you know, I'm, I, I keep getting fouls. Um, it's really uh, holding me back from being out there with my team. And the rebounding as well continues to, to stymie the fast break opportunities for your club. Uh, they're out really, I mean, I think they are rebounding as well at 14 tonight or 16, something like that. Some, and they're doing a great job at it. And, um, you, know, uh, you know, we got to figure it out. So you're in an 0-2 hole, unfamiliar territory for you. How do you hit the reset button if you head into D.C.? Well, we ain't got a choice but to hit the reset button. We, you know, we down, you know, we down 0-2. Um, at the end of the day, still gonna win. they have to win four games or we have to win four games. So um, we still had a game to play on Friday. Um, you know, we'll, tonight I'm sure everyone will be, you know, disappointed and, you know, watch the film and, you know, have an a off night and t tomorrow we get back to work. Can you talk about the injury and the update? Uh, a little left knee, uh, left chin contusion, but I'll be okay. Kyle, outside of the fouls, where do you feel like your game is right now? I don't know, I man. You know, I'm not really getting any clean looks right now, and um, you know, I even missed a couple free throws. But you know, I can't dictate my my game with just offense. So I I can't even stay on the floor, so I got to figure a way to stay on the floor right now. As far as those defensive matchups are concerned, Paul Pierce in game one, Beal and Wall today. I mean, how do you how do you stop those guys? Uh, they're playing well. You know, uh, Paul played well, and uh, you know, t uh, tonight they they really got their guards downhill, set great screens, and um, they played uh, they played with some pace and, and some tempo tonight. How much does the transition defense need to improve? Uh, a lot. I think we uh, got to try to figure out just everyone get back. You know, we can't wrestle with the ball or try to stop the ball. We just got to get five guys back. One thing Bradley Beal said at halftime. He said that you guys were treating them like they were punks, like you would push them and they would fall down, and they, were, they weren't accepting that. Uh, do they seem like a defiant team? Uh, next question. Kyle, they're in length. I mean, John Wall, Al Porter switching out a little bit. Beal's pretty range, you guys. That probably a little bit challenge. Well, they're, they're just, um, they're really, their bigs are really helping. You know they're sending two guys that uh, you know our guards and you know making everyone else make plays. So um, it's taking the ball out of our hands really quick. 